It's Easter camp. Good morning and welcome to Thursday of camp. Today the theme is on ground strokes. Ground strokes is the collective name for forehands and backhands. You can play your backhand with two hands, you can put slice on it, you can put top spin on it, and you've got the same spins, top spin and slice on your forehand. And you're going to learn all about those shots today. Thanks very much to our friends and coaches from other clubs who have helped us to put the content together and we hope you have lots of fun practicing forehands and backhands. One more thing from me. Tomorrow's Friday and we always have pizza on a Friday so I thought I'd get the heads up so you can get your ingredients or your pizzas ordered so you're all ready for Friday. The ball is in your court. Each day will follow the same structure. We'll do a warm-up, followed by ball skills, then racket and ball skills, a family tennis game or two, and we'll finish with a mental muscle challenge. Throughout the camp, we'll try and offer a range of ability and skill levels so there's something for everyone, including mums and dads. Enjoy. This is called the Siamese race. You put racket ball, racket ball, racket ball and race across an area. If you don't have racket and balls, you can play this game which is called human chain. Each team has to make it from one end of a tennis court or a living room or a garden to the other without breaking the chain. If you break the chain, you have to go back to the beginning again. So take your pick the Siamese race or human chain and get your first warm up done this morning. Today's cardio warm up sees Ridwan running on the spot. He looks like he's trying to escape but he can't quite do it. Notice how high his knees are going and his arms are going at the same time. See how fast you can go in 30 seconds. This one in this slide is looking very still. He's back to his original habitat in Abu Dhabi. Look at that beautiful sunny day. On a serious note, this is called the plank and we thank Ridwan for all his contribution this week. He's been absolutely brilliant. The secret of this position, he's making it look easy, but you it's very difficult to stay straight. Hold your tummy in, and if you can do 30 seconds like Ridwan, you're doing very well indeed. Here's Sebastian, ace four using a big soft sponge ball to play tennis with his dad along the floor. Sometimes this is called floor tennis. Notice that Sebastian's using both hands to pass the ball back and forth and these are the beginnings of forehands and backhands for young children. It looks like they're having lots of fun as well which is the most important thing. Well done Sebastian. And when the children are older you can use these bigger balls to build up rotation in the body. Here's Jordan and Bella backhand, turning and throwing, turning and throwing, simulating forehands and backhands together. Later on they build in some movement, so throwing cross court, moving, split stepping, lots of good turning, crossover steps, all sorts of things going on here. Thank you very much. Jordan and Bella. No rackets or no balls? No problem. Here's Rafa practicing his shadow strokes while out for a walk with his mum. One thing I would quite like to see here Rafa is a little split step when you get back to the centre. Other than that, well done, great rotation.
thanks to Steel Tennis of Newlands Tennis Club for this fantastic video. It's a great example of teaching without telling. The children hit the ball from low to high, knocking the ball off the top of a cone and learning how to play topspin while they're at it. If you don't have a cone like this, use your imagination to find something similar. This cone's ideal because it's at the waist height of the children that are using it. So developing topspin through an exercise using the philosophy teaching without telling. Genius from Steel Tennis. Hi again guys, Jordan here again, coming from Centre Court in my back garden. Um, okay, got a couple of little slice backhand fun challenges you can try. Um, demonstrate this with my gigantic 19 inch racket. Um, one of the most important things when you slice guys is to keep your body sideways. And a really fun way to learn this is using a frisbee. So what I've got here, I've got a net obviously in front of me, you don't need that and I've put a target on the ground, I'm gonna try and frisbee and finish like this. But the, the challenge is can I get the frisbee in the, or close to the target. All right, here we go, see how good I am. All right. Not great. You guys can do a lot better than that, I'm sure. If you don't have a frisbee, you can even make one. Cardboard, cut in a nice circle with a template and then just stick a few layers together until you get a little bit of weight and that tends to work just as well as having a frisbee and it's quite fun as well and then ultimately once you've had a few practices like this you can either get someone to feed you the ball and again same idea trying to knock the ball into the target okay notice how I'm staying sideways And here's an example of the tennis player's best friend, a hitting wall. Here Cameron's trying to get the tennis ball into the bucket. Introducing a challenge like this increases motivation. Yay! Here's Roger Federer providing inspiration to children and adults all over the world, showing everybody him practicing trick tennis in isolation. There's lots of great content on Twitter and social media at the moment with great players posting. Check it out. Never underestimate the power of copying, especially in children. We sent the video of Roger to Cameron to see how he would get on and he spent a lot of time practicing against the wall. As we were seeing yesterday, if you see it, you can be it. Will Cameron get the shot round the back? Yes! In our family tennis games today, you'll see two families, one playing a game outside and one playing a game inside. They aren't strictly playing ground strokes, but we'd love to see you adapt these games to include ground shots too. Have fun. Here's the Robertson family playing a fun game, passing the ball in the same order, showing a lot of control. You could also do this just by throwing and catching the ball and then gradually introduce rackets. As you get better at this, you might introduce a second ball like Graham has there and watch the fun begin. And here are the gardens showing that you don't even need a garden to play the same game. Shot cone. Remember, you can play this game with or without a bounce to practice your ground shots. Enjoy. Today's mental muscle is a word search. When it appears on your screen, why not see how many words you can find together as a family? Give yourselves a set time, say five minutes, and write down the number of words you can find. Let us know.
one more word from us. Tomorrow is Pizza Friday. So get your pizza ingredients in tonight so that you can enjoy a pizza at the end of tomorrow's camp. It's always great to celebrate on a Friday. So we will have a special quiz ready for you in Mental Muscle tomorrow about the rules of tennis. Get your pizzas in advance, sit back and enjoy. We hope you had a great day today at camp.